Newlands, this time against Carl Duplessis and his Curry Cup champions, Western Province. Frank Shelford to Shaw. And Shaw has Gary Knight there. Picked up a mixed head. This is good, lovely forward play. And here's a second base. Picked up again there. All Blacks going in, charging forward. And Gary Knight looks like going to go and score. Gary Knight, I think it is. And it's a try given, definitely. There's a good shove by the All Blacks. Donald back to Smith. Osborne and Clamp was in the line. Victor Simpson takes it. Victor Simpson back there to uh, Smith. And out to Crowley in the line. Bernie Fraser. There's the kick keeping in play. Mark Shaw is under it. So is Mike Clamp. And Shaw has it. Mark Shaw with it. And it's a try. A beautiful try there. Bernie Fraser's cross kick into the middle. And Mark Shaw in a perfect position. Mike Clamp was there too. But that's Mark Shaw who scored the try. Andrew Donald. Wayne Smith. Misses out a man to Simpson. Short one to Billy Osborne. Well tackled by Cupido, though. And All Blacks groveling for this ball. And Smith it is picking it up. He's like a loose forward. And good work there by Ashworth. And will they set up the second phase? Here it comes. Donald looking inside. And he's got Hicker Reed. Hicker Reed going for the line. Held just short. And is it Andy Hayden bashing over? What has the referee given? Yes, yes indeed. It's Skipper given. Hayden notching the third try as the tourists Andy rattle Hayden up a commanding 22-6 lead at half-time. Hayden, 35-year-old yes, Auckland Giant, the team's most experienced old, player with 41 caps, a man who made his international debut on the 1972 tour to Britain. Former Springbok centre Dave Stewart, assisting with the commentary, describes the try again. Control again at that ruck. Donald gets caught. Maybe he should have given it a little earlier, but Hicker Reed goes well here. Watch him get caught just short of the line, and Hayden and Mark Shaw just take it across together. Who do we give the try to? Oh, it was Hayden. Waiting for advantage, and advantage there is. Out it comes. That's Papa Knutzer. Keep it out. Carlos Skolz in the line. A good tackle. There's Mike Clamp on the go. Mike Clamp and Papa Knutzer. And Mike Clamp has got it. He's got someone with him. He's got Wayne Smith. He's going to roll over as he wants to. A lovely try by Wayne Smith. Started by a Western Province mistake. And good work by Mike Clamp. That's Wayne Smith. Slow heel. One taste to Cupido. Cupido getting it well to Duplessis there. And Carlos Skoltz, he could have let it go there too. Chip ahead. Crowley, plenty of time. Keeping it in play. Picked up by Frederick Knutzer. But Simpson is there to grab it for the All Blacks. And Shaw is there. But Scott Burger going well for the Western Province side. And they're trying to push their way over. Crowd going mad on the far side. But the referee says no. Wasn't a try. And there's a bit of a stick ups going on over there in the far side of the All Blacks. And that's Scott Berger, his first really good catch of the match. And Bontes getting it out. Michael Duplessis and coming in was Carlos Skolz, but he didn't catch the ball. Shelford cleaning up for the All Blacks and Billy Osborne. Referee Steve Stradham signals a halt as Hayden, on the distant touchline, challenges his old foe, Feynant Munz, to tell him exactly what he thinks of him. And over on the far side, we have Mr. Vaynon Munz, who's come into action again, the referee of the other day. He's got his flag out parallel with the ground, saying that the All Blacks were guilty of some infringement under Law 26. And the referee going to consult the touch judge. He, does, he can overrule him, of course. He doesn't have to agree with him. Meanwhile, province lock Skalk Burger, looking to ease the tension, takes Murray Mexit aside for a quiet chat. Then at a sharp yeah, exchange with referee Stratum, uh, Hayden referee threatens to take his team next. off the field. But about as far as the touchline, uh, it was reported that um, that Schalk Berger and, and Carl Duplessis managed to convince us that we shouldn't take the team off. Um, I'd already said to the players, go along with it, we'll go to the touchline, we'll just make sure that these guys know we're serious. And uh, so it was really no influence that the opposition had on us, it was our own decision. We were just making sure that we weren't going to be trifled with. We wanted to see the tour ruled in, in such a way, and refereeing ruled in such a way as that we knew it was honest. Well, perhaps if they take some time with this penalty kick, everyone will calm down and cool down. In the meantime, the score remains 26 points to the All Blacks and six to Western Province. And uh, the All Blacks have scored four tries by Gary Knight, Mark Shaw, Andy Hayden, and Wayne Smith. Penalty 15 meters in from touch and about eight meters behind the 22. And here's a good view we'll have of this one. 
And it looks as though it's straight and two. And it's another three points. And that's to Scott Berger at the back of the line. That's a good one to Michael Duvassi. Into Scott Berger again. And he's going to score himself. Scott Berger will score. Scott Berger, a lovely try. A great try by Scott Berger Jr. But it's the New Zealanders who get the rave notices with the first test just three days away.